Azerbaijani presidential aide Hikmat Hajiyev has confirmed media reports about the withdrawal of Russian peacekeepers from Azerbaijan's nagorno karabakh region, the state media reported on Wednesday, the withdrawal of Russian peacekeepers from Azerbaijani territory ahead of schedule has been decided by the leaders of both countries, Hajiyev told a Zertag news agency. He added that the process of withdrawal has already begun, with the ministries of defense of Azerbaijan and Russia implementing appropriate measures for the execution of that decision. It should be noted that around 2,000 Russian peacekeepers were deployed to Karabakh after the agreement in November 2020 that ended the war between Armenia and Azerbaijan. The peacekeepers' mandate was set to expire in 2025. Ukrainian general named the reason why Ukraine does not declare war on Russia. Ukraine will not declare war on Russia because it is not profitable for it. As ex-deputy chief of the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine, Igor Romanenko explained, Kyiv is afraid of losing Western help. Answering a question about a possible declaration of war on Russia, the Ukrainian retired general explained that Ukraine would not do this under any circumstances, since it would immediately lose help from the West, which is actively avoiding a direct clash with Russia. And transferring military aid to Ukraine, which has declared war, means taking its side. Therefore, Romanenko urged not to grasp at definitions. We have a large-scale war. Legally, this is enough for us. If we went to a state of war, then a assistance for weapons and equipment would cease not only from the United States but also from most of the Allies. They have this written in the law, said the General, adding that even in the current situation there are closed points in assistance from the United States. Today, Ukraine receives virtually no military assistance from the Americans who have switched to Israel. The right to support the Kyiv has been transferred to Europe, but it cannot do it alone. And the internal problems of the European Union do not make it possible to compensate for most of the US assistance. If war is declared, Kyiv will lose even the little assistance it receives. Recall, U.S. Senate Majority Leader Democrat Chuck Schumer said that a consensus was reached that Congress could act quickly to send aid to both Israel and Ukraine. As reported by ABC News, Schumer expressed hope at a press conference in New York that something could be done this week to help both countries. He noted that the best way to send aid to Israel and Ukraine is for the House of Representatives to pass the Senate-approved National Security Supplemental Act, which includes aid to both countries. The Senate passed the 95 billion US dollar package in February, but House Speaker Mike Johnson did not bring it to a vote. Russia recruits citizens of Armenia and Kazakhstan into its army in attempts to avoid mobilization. The Russian Federation is reportedly attempting to recruit foreigners in its army in an effort to prevent internal mobilization and replenish significant casualties sustained in the fighting in Ukraine, says UK Defence Intelligence report. As reported by UK analysts, the most recent English language advertisement invites foreigners to enlist in the Russian army's special force. It offers a lump sum payment of 2,200 US dollars upon contract signing, a Russian passport, free medical treatment and training. Online job postings began to surface in the middle of 2023, targeting individuals from nearby nations, specifically Armenia and Kazakhstan. The postings offered a monthly income of 1,973,000 US dollars, as well as a lump sum payment upon contract signing worth 5,140 US dollars. Additionally, Russia recruited immigrants from Central Asia in 2023. Reports of migrants from Nepal and India being enlisted and sent to fight in Ukraine have also surfaced recently. 
It is likely that many of those that have been recruited are not professional soldiers but migrant workers and have been coerced to fight under false pretenses or with the offer of financial incentives, UK Defence Intelligence said. According to intelligence, the number of foreigners in Russian forces is most likely limited and they are absorbed into existing rather than any new special formations. The UK Defence Intelligence writes that Russia is likely to avoid further unpopular internal mobilisation measures. Furthermore, given the large losses, Russia must continue to examine all recruitment options in order to maintain a high rate of human influx. On the 10th of April, UK Defence Intelligence revealed that Russia was seeking to recruit about 400,000 contract soldiers in 2024, a move that is necessary to support its forces in Ukraine, which have suffered huge losses.